Almost Home Humane Society is making its mission to protect animals from abuse and abandonment more important than ever. But like many organizations, this pandemic is creating several obstacles for the shelters. News 18's Marvin Bills spoke with workers from the shelter about the hardships they are facing during this time. You know, everything has slowed down. Roger Ganley with Almost Home Humane Society says this pandemic has put a strain on the shelter's operations. It's a lot uh, taking a toll on our staff because our volunteers were not permitted to come in. So um, most nonprofits exist because of volunteers. Lack of volunteers isn't the only problem. Ganley says donations coming into the shelter have fallen 50% and continue to decline. And with the number of animal intakes increasing by 20% in the last two months, the shelter has been forced to find other ways to provide medical treatment for their animals. The veterinary clinics uh, have been closed, so all of our animals have to be spayed and neutered before they're adopted out. So we do have, you know, a backup. So we're doing everything we possibly can in-house. But it's, um, you know, it's a process. Adoptions have also decreased. In February, the shelter adopted out a total of 117 pets. That dropped 35% in March, where only 70 pets were adopted out. Things that we had to do was cut down on uh, our adoption process. With fundraising events getting canceled, Ganley wasn't sure how the shelter was going to keep the number of pets in the shelter down and increase the funds for the shelter if people couldn't adopt. So the shelter started a private adoption system. It's much more structured than our usual process when people just get to come in and look around. People are required to have a specific animal in mind they like to adopt. They fill out an application and then a private appointment is set. Volunteer coordinator Emily Leikegaard says it was an idea they couldn't say no to. If we hadn't begun doing adoptions this way, um, I really don't know <laughs> what it would look like. We would have probably temporary crates set up in staff members' offices to keep dogs in there. In Lafayette, Marvin Bills, News 18. You can find out how you can help expand the shelter's financial resources linked to the story on our website, WLFI.com.